Hello, my dear Scorpios. Welcome to your December 23rd, almost 24th um, reading. So, happy holidays to everyone. Um, hope that you're enjoying the holiday season. Merry Christmas to all my fellow Christians and happy holidays to everyone else. So, um, we're going to get into the reading here, Scorpio. And as we do, just keep in mind this is a general collective reading, which means it's for the whole world, okay? Take the parts that resonates for you or take all of it. Or if it doesn't resonate for you, it's just not on your timeline, okay? So please respect me for that. I am not a fortune teller. I do not tell what's going to happen. I don't get into that dark world. I'm sorry, but I just don't. Um, I can give you likely outcomes, but, you know, that's up to you, your destiny, and between you and your relationship with the higher power of who they might, may be. So, um, Scorpio, I hope that you're all doing well. And I want to say thank you to Sherelle um, for the reading. Thank you, Ron. I did get your message. And thank you to everyone else who I had a personal reading with. If you had a personal reading with me, go to the community tab and answer that um, reading question about readings. So just out of curiosity, I'd, I'd just like to know. So, if you'd like a personal reading, look in the description box, okay? And as always, Scorpio, thank you for so much for being here with me and helping me support my channel. Um, it's been about three and a half years on YouTube, so I couldn't have done this without you. As I continue to grow my support, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And so, okay, so Scorpio, let's get into it here. What's going on with the dear Scorpios? I want you to stay positive, Scorpios, okay? So let's see what the energies are. I am a natural healer as well. I hope that um, I have been helping you. If I have talked to you personally, I have tried to help you heal and help you get into a good space to in your journey. So let's see. And that's what I'm here for. Thank you to all the donations. Thank you, Scorpio King. Thank you, Carol PT. Um, and all the beautiful comments. I do read them. So thank you so much. So let's go on what's going on with your energy, Scorpio. What's coming up for you? All right, <clears throat> Scorpio. I am getting better, so thank you, Scorpios, for praying for me and um, and all the well wishes. For As we were talking about healing here, that healing card came out. You are taking a rest. You are taking a break. There has been a lot going on, Scorpio, with you here. There's in the energy of the Four of Swords. You, you really need this time for yourself, especially during the holiday season, you know, and emotionally, you need this time to yourself, okay? I know sometimes if you're alone, trust me, Scorpio, you're not alone, okay? Everybody, give a shout out in, to everybody who says they're alone, okay? If you put in the comments you're alone, someone please respond to that person and let them know they are not alone in this world, okay? If you could do that for me, that'd be great. So three of wands is in reverse. You have the Ace of Wands here, Nine of Cups, and the World card. Now, Scorpio, as you're taking this break, you're reflecting on a lot of things that has been going on in your life. You have been focused on things that that you just didn't understand about, things that maybe someone did you wrong, someone hurt you, someone left you in a bad situation, or they put you in a bad situation, okay? But, Scorpio, Three of Wands here. The Three of Wands is saying, you know... You're not waiting on this anymore. You're not waiting for life just to pass you by. You're not waiting for someone to say, I love you, or I want to be part of your life. I don't think you're waiting on this person anymore. Okay? I think you're getting into a good headspace here. With this Ace of Wands energy here, with the Ace of Wands, you're finding that light and your fire again. You're finding that passion. You're, um, it's, took, it's taken some time here. Time here. And with this Ace of Swords, Scorpio, you're you're starting to get the light, your change. What can you do to change yourself? Okay? And with this Nine of Cups energy here, you're talking about your own happiness here. Scorpio, you're right. You are the wrong one who is responsible for your happiness. And the keys to your, don't ever put your happiness in the hands of someone else. And you have the World card here. There is a new beginning here. For you, for your happiness, for your passion. Okay, so Scorpio, if you're manifesting, but once you understand you do not put people ahead of yourself, 
then this is when your life changes. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Scorpio. For Scorpio, Angel Guides and Spirits, show me the cards for Scorpio. What do they need to know? For in love and everything. We just want to know, okay? You have the Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups in reverse, Three of Cups, and the Hermit card. All right, well, on the deck, you have the energy of the the Strength card here. So, Scorpio, yes. Um, now we're going to get into the love part. So, don't forget what I just said up here. Changing your ways, changing your thinking, changing everything, and putting passion back into what makes you happy. Seven of Cups here. Scorpio, I know you've been through a lot with the Seven of Cups energy. You have been through some things. People have sabotaged you. Some people have hurt you. People have made you happy. People have made you, have let you down. People have made you feel good. So there's a lot of different things here that has happened in this energy of the Seven of Cups. But the biggest one that you feel that hurt you or hurt you the most was the ace of cups in reverse because you were expecting this new love this future with someone and this person happened to let you down with seven of cups so the three of cups here energy is saying you know with that passion card here you are it's it's, it's your time to shine scorpio okay it really is because for so long you have put the other needs of other people before you and the hermit card is here in reverse and you're coming out of that sadness, out of that um, that gloomy feeling of about being alone, okay? You're not alone. There's a difference between lonely and alone, okay? And you have these Six of Pentacles. Well, you're starting to realize that a lot of people, you were putting their needs before your own. And yet with this Strength card here, Scorpio, you gotta you got to focus on yourself. Focus on your control. Focus on what you want. Now, let's see what how this happens. Now, this person that had done you wrong in the past with this Seven of Cups that maybe have not chosen you, didn't choose you for whatever reason. They may have been narcissistic. They may have been just insecure, but it had nothing to do with you, Scorpio. You, it might feel like that, but this, those people usually have a lot of problems that you don't even know you where so this person who let you down with the ace of cups that energy you're saying i'm not gonna work this out i don't have no more hope for this i don't want to deal with this and but this person does have this energy that they are still thinking about you they still want this um how can they get back to scorpio okay look at that strength card you saw me put the card back it's the center focus now for you Okay, I'm not. I can't make this up. You're not going to look back, and you you're going to have to stay strong against the people who kind of hurt you, and let go of the ones who did. But unblock your energy, Scorpio, because there's a lot of great things waiting for you on the other side of this. So as we move in, there's your King of Pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter. When you unblock, you're going to unravel a, a domino effect, because the, the, you know. You're always in the front of trying to protect other people, trying to love other people, trying to put their needs before your own, and we can't do this no more, Scorpio, unless you have children. But when it comes to relationships, it's a it's an equal give and take, right? But we had to learn through this lesson, through this this 2023, that you can't do this. You can't keep doing this. If this person can't love you on an equal basis, you let it go. You cannot work with somebody who's not trying to work with you. The nine of, you cannot put your all your hope into someone who's not putting their hope into you. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Um, but over here you have the seven of wands in reverse and the king of pentacles. This is what I'm saying. When you let go of that 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 feeling of, you know what, I'm going to leave it to the universe. I'm going to let the universe do it for me. And what happens? Because you said this is not going to work for me. Your behavior is not working for me. The things that you have not changed is not going to work for me. You have to know your power here, Scorpio, and so and own it. 
And I know some of you have been crying up here with that Four of Swords energy. You have been upset. You've been devastated. You've been hurt. <coughs> but the, you're going to have good things here, Scorpio. All right? So just hang in there and keep your head up. But you're going to have to say, um, keep that strength card in your in your mind, okay? So Scorpio. Now I'm planning to do a 2024 reading. Six of Swords. And I'll be telling you about that in just a few minutes. But Six of Swords. Yeah, there's this, this. So you're on the middle here. You still have not moved on. You're still uh, still hoping that this is going to work out for your person and you. Now I'm talking not to everybody. If you have moved on and you got into a new, new relationship, this is not for you. Um, remember, the longer you hang on to this energy, the longer that you cannot expand yourself. Now, there's the page one. Someone's watching you. And someone's thinking about the truth of what you've told them. They are sitting here thinking about And they actually feel rejected by the fact that you don't want them. They the pentacles. And you have this energy. They the pentacles are saying, um, you know, I want to grow this Scorpio. Okay, that's what they're talking about here. But they're watching you. Because they, they can't believe you actually left them behind. And I'm really proud of you, Scorpio. That is their energy. This page of swords. Watching you, is talking to you, I want to find out about you, I want to communicate with you. Immaturity, for sure. But they cannot, you must have told them they cannot give you what you needed. They didn't want to give you the Ten of Cups. They didn't want to give things in a calm way. They gave you the complete opposite of what you was asking for from the beginning. So with this Ace of Swords energy, and with the Four of Cups in reverse, both of them, they know that you you just you're making up your mind here, and you're gonna put your own needs first. And this is what it's all about, Scorpio, is putting your own needs first, vesting into yourself. And some people don't know how to do that. Okay, let's get some final advice for you. I don't know why this. Goes. All right. What's the final advice for Scorpio in their love situation? Tell me what's coming up for the next seven days, please. Show me the cards for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? And if someone has not reached out to you, if they have not treated you right as the Empress, they're making you feel bad, to let go of this energy. Unblock yourself here. Page of Cups. They might be offering you an apology. Okay. What is the... Show me what the Wheel of Fortune reverses it. So there's some changes going to have to be made here, Scorpio. Yeah, I really agree with that. Hmm. All right, Scorpio, you have the um, Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Fool card. Two of Cups, and I'm going to put the final card here for the Two of Wands. Scorpio, you know, in this energy here, let it go. Okay? I, I'm talking to somebody out there. You've been holding on to an energy way, way, way too long. Let it go. Let it go. Okay? Play the song, Let It Go. Like I'm from Frozen. Uh, because this is diminishing dis dis uh, dis your... Your capabilities of who you are and how strong you are and the willpower. Again, the strength card is there. Um, take new risk in things, new hobbies, new directions, new life, new traveling. Take a risk. Make a new beginning for yourself. And the Two of Cups. Because this is going to be a reunion or new love here or a re reconciliation. So this is something that when you let something go, the person that had you... It's going to have to, now they're forced to choose what is Scorpio going to do. Okay, you're putting a, you're putting this in a situation now. Do you have to go back to the past? No. But what I'm saying is, Scorpio, you, you have been nice way too long, too kind. 
and you have gave your all to people who took advantage of your kindness. We had a conversation about this already. They took advantage of your kindness. And so what happened is they think you're always going to be there. But you're going to have to stay in no contact with this person. You're going to have to want them. You're going to have to, if they want you, they're going to come for you. All right? But they can't come for you if you're not living your best life here. Because that makes you look weak. And you're not weak, Scorpio. I know you're loving. But that's going to force that person to say, if I don't do something, I'm going to, I'm going to lose Scorpio forever. You're going to have to, and if the person ever comes back, then there you have your answer. You, you get to move on and free, with peace. But if you really want this person back, I hope you don't. Because if they have cheated and lied and manipulated you, do not take those people back. All right, but before anything could change with this person, Scorpio, you're going to have to be willing to change. You're going to have to change something about you, and I don't mean that for the other person. You don't change for no one, but what I'm saying is for you, for you to become the queen of that fire energy passion here, you're going to have to change it. You're going to have to stop being given out your all to someone who did, didn't even earn it. They didn't earn you, Scorpio. And some of you are being very desperate here. Because you're willing to settle. And that's not right. You do not settle, Scorpio, because you deserve the best. And you got to believe that. But this person, go no if they don't come back, they don't come back. Okay? But you got to prove to them to respect you. You're going to have to make being that queen of one's energy to respect you male or female it doesn't matter i don't know who i'm talking to out there but i'm very passionate about this but this person can't come back to you if they don't respect you even if they come back they're only going to disrespect you more please understand that angel guys and spirit show me the cards for scorpio any advice for scorpio and romance angels. This person want if you want this person back, you're gonna have to change it. Cause they're gonna walk all over you. And I know you Scorpio, some of you have lost your power of who you are, your self esteem, and please don't get to that state of mind, okay? And I'm not saying be difficult or bad or anything like that. But you're gonna have to say, you know, if this person leaves my life, then let them go. You can't force no one to love you, and you can't force no one to stay. The tarot cannot do that for you. All right, but there's new love here. Reconciliation possible. Traveling back to see you. And they, they might have other opportunities, other job opportunities, other places to go. So I'm going to clarify that two of wands while I'm thinking about it. All right, exactly. I do believe what this says. Love yourself first, okay? Past life relationship. You did put this person before you. Just saying, you might need to learn to flirt, flirt a little bit and put yourself in a good mood, okay? Um, innocent flirting. I'm not talking about any photos or anything. There's some healing family issues that you might have to look inside your childhood wounds and wonder, asking yourself, why am I tolerating someone who has clearly shown me that they can disrespect me? That's come from my family wound, a childhood wound, okay? Uh, retreat, take care of yourself. Again, four of swords energy. Retreat, go somewhere, have a good time. Put your, give yourself self-love and some self-care, okay? So let me just clarify here on the, the Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. Two plus two here. It looks like someone's coming back to see you. After they kind of walked away, ghost you. Showed disrespect towards you. Show me about the Two of Wands here. Okay. Come on, let me 
do this again. Two more ones, please. Thank you guys for your shimmer the cards. And this person comes back. And if you don't you don't set some strong boundaries, you understand this person's gonna put you right back where you started from. Alright? So you have the Justice card, the Queen of Swords, and you have the Two of Cups again. Alright, the Justice card is saying, keep the truth, keep it real to yourself, okay? Keep it balanced, keep it real. Be honest with yourself. Why did this person abandon you? Why did this person ghost you? Why did this person disappear on you? And now they want to come back. But each of our own, right? You, I can't choose for you. Queen of Swords energy. You're going to have to ask a lot of questions here. Put some boundaries. Queen of Swords is saying, I'm not going to accept less than what I deserve, but I need to deserve the best. Two of Cups. If you're going to be part of my life, you're going to have to do better. Okay, they're going to have to bring you some some type of um, evidence that they love you enough if you decide to go back with this person. They do want to travel to see you, and it's a possibility some of you will take this person back. But keep in mind, this person didn't give you the love the first time around. Do they deserve your heart? Now, there's the Nine of Cups. Being happy, Scorpio, is what it's all about. And don't let nobody steal your happiness. Because that's what, when we um, get into that those kinds of situations. Alright. So this has been your message for you, Scorpio. I think this is going into 2024. Please recognize what you deserve. And think about what you deserve. If you, if you want this person back, you're going to have to get them to really respect you. By showing you and by actions, okay? It's not of the talk. They talked enough already. Talking doesn't work. It does not get you anywhere. Make them prove it to you. That means you're going to need them and whatever that is. But you're going to have to be in that respectful mode. Respect yourself, Scorpio. Self-respect here is needed before they can respect you. And some of you have kicked this person to the curb because they disrespected you. Let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. Again, if you'd like a personal reading to help you along your journey, to your help you heal in your you know where you can move ahead, please reach out to me. I'll be looking forward to talking to you, and I will probably not do a reading tomorrow. Um, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I don't do readings, so I will be back on um, Tuesday with a reading, okay? So, Scorpio, have a nice holiday. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your love. Enjoy your life. Do what's best for you. Put yourself first here as needed, okay, Scorpio? All right, send in love and light to my Scorpio family. Take care. Bye-bye.